Why is Legion so good at crit racing? Yes, they're full of amazingly talented, strong, disciplined riders. But there's this other factor, which I think is even more impressive, that not many people talk about. And I think this video shows it perfectly, so let's get into it. Okay, this footage is from the final two and a half laps of Redlands Stage 4. This is the Pro Men's Criterium, and we're on board with Ryan, my teammate from Team Mike's Bikes. Ryan is currently fighting for position, attempting to gobble up some green jersey points and potentially go for a, a stage result. But it's really tough because Legion is on the front right now doing what they do best. They've taken control of this bike race. And as a result, it is just so difficult to maintain position near the front of this bike race. I mean, just look at this, this fight for the end of the Legion train. And I want you to pay attention to Ryan's power output, the bottom left-hand corner. It's at zero right now, and it's going to spike up to like a thousand watts out of this corner. And, and then it's going to go back down to zero. And this is just a measure of how much energy he's having to expend. And one thing I've talked about a lot on this channel is slow is smooth and smooth is fast because you have to be consistent. Like, there's a couple of different ways to maintain. I mean, we're going over 30 miles an hour right now. There's a couple of ways to maintain that. And one is holding about 300, 350 watts in the draft consistently. That is so much more efficient than spiking up to 1,000 watts for a few seconds and then back down to zero. And then up at 1,000 for a few seconds like he's doing right now and then back down to zero. Kind of going in and out of the draft. And this is what makes Legion so special. This is what sets them above all other crit racing teams in the United States is their ability to organize on the front of the bike race with the entire team. We're going to get a glimpse of them in a second and, and create a very smooth, consistent effort that makes it easy for their sprinter, who in this case, Tyler Williams, sitting at the end of the train. Now, if, if we were to look at his power and then compare it to Ryan's power and all these other riders that are struggling just to hold the end of the Legion lead out, there it is, by the way, um, you would see Tyler Williams who is rider number six, by the way. We're going to get a good look at him. His power is going to be much more consistent than Ryan. Ryan's power all over the place. Even now that he's gotten right up onto the end of the Legion leadout, he is still fighting the wind. He's outside of the draft right here. He's making all sorts of power. Meanwhile, number six, Tyler, the protected sprinter. Look how consistent his effort is. Such a smooth pedal stroke. And now, Legion smart. This rider to Ryan's right is a sweeper. He's at the end of the Legion leadout to protect Tyler from all the craziness and the chaos that's behind. We call it the washing machine. I want you to compare what we just saw within the Legion leadout to what we're about to see back here. Oh my god, oh, almost a crash through that corner, super close call. Everyone back here is just taking crazy risks because it makes sense, think about it. Everybody wants to be right at the very end of the Legion leadout, especially coming through one lap to go. We're about to pass Bell Lap. There's only enough space for one bike at the end of that leadout. And there's 50 riders who want to be in that position. So, of course, there's going to be these guys taking all sorts of risks. This is a pro race. People, There's a lot of people in this field who do this for a living. And they're going to take big risks, risks to maintain that position at the very end of the Legion lead out because they want, to, they want to contest the win. This is the Redlands crit. This is huge. And that's the best place to do it from. And it's no secret here, right, guys? If you look at any... Oh, my God, it's so sketchy back here. If you look at any, uh, like, World Tour race, uh, pro race, you can see that at the end of a sprint stage, you have lines of riders you have lead out trains all organizing and it's because they're protecting their sprinter they're keeping it fast and they're keeping it consistent slow is smooth and smooth is fast that applies to amateur bike racing and pro bike bike racing alike and in the crit scene here in the united states there is one team that stands head and shoulders above all others that is legion here you can see one of the legion riders on the right pulling off job done i think that was sam and, and again like that was his role he was keeping it fast he was keeping it smooth and consistent for their sprinter tyler who ended up taking the win congrats tyler super well deserved win in fact legion went one two with alec also ryan on the other hand just struggling back here man it's just so hard without a team he ended up rolling in for 17th a very respectable result at a big time crit like this so uh that's all thanks for watching guys and as always i'll catch you in the next one